Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I make my lavender flaxseed gel. There are so many awesome flaxseed gel recipes out there. I did not reinvent the wheel. However, this is how I've been doing mine for over a decade and I hope you guys like it. So what you'll need is a heavy pot, you'll need some water and you'll need some lavender buds. I start out with one tablespoon of dried organic lavender buds which I get from my Georgetown Market family here in Indy. If you do not live in Indy, do not worry about it. I will leave a link to their website down below so that you can order from them directly. So put everything in your pot, take a spoon, because the lavender will stick to the sides of the pot. So I just take a spoon and kind of go around making sure the lavender, the buds that are stuck to the sides will get in the water. And then I turn on my heat to medium high because I want to bring this to a hard simmer. I do not want to boil this. I just want to warm up the buds so that they will release their fragrant and beautiful oil from their flower. That's all I want to do. It's the same thing as cooking. Before you cook with dried herbs, always take time to rub them in your hands to warm them up because it will help them to release their oils. So. After everything comes to a hard simmer, see the little bubbles is all you want, remove it from the heat and then strain it using a mesh strainer. And you wanna do that to get all of those buds out because you do not want these buds in your flaxseed gel mixture because they can mold and get rancid and you don't want that. And then to make sure you get all of the goodness, take the back of a large spoon and gently press to get all of that wonderfulness that God made out all right that's all you have to do so what you've just done you have just made an awesome lavender tea and this is the liquid that we're going to mix with our flax seeds in order to make our gel see Now hold up, this is not trash, do not throw this away. You can put this on a paper towel and dry them out again and reuse them for something else. So do not throw it away. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the flaxseed gel. So you wanna add one cup of organic flax seeds to a pot, just like so. Now that the flax seeds are in the pot, you wanna take the two cups of lavender tea that you just made and pour that over the flax seeds along with an additional half cup of water. Now give it a quick stir and turn your heat on to medium high and bring to a boil. As this boils, the flax seeds begin to break down and the most amazing gel is born. <laughs> Full of omega-3 fatty acids. I mean, it's just so wonderful for your hair follicles. It nourishes the scalp. And on top of that, the lavender that you harvested from the lavender buds will also be infused into that gel, just kicking it up 15 more notches. Lavender is great for hair growth. It's great to stop and prevent hair loss. Um, and it smells wonderful. It has some great aromatherapy benefits for relaxation. It's a safe flower and oil to use. And this is great if you wanna use this gel on your children. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Okay, so it came to a boil and now it's time to remove it. And all that white like little trail stuff in there looks like ribbons, that's the gel, it just hasn't thickened yet. So now I'm gonna set it aside and I'll let it cool down. Now when I harvest my gel, it is still very hot. It does not phase me, I've been doing this for so long. Plus I had a mother and aunt who made me wash dishes in hot water, okay? <laughs> but I don't want you burning your hands, so make sure it's at a temperature where it's comfortable for you. Now I used to use cheesecloth, which you can, but it took a very long time and the seeds always made their way into my gel and I had to start over until one day I was on YouTube watching Whitney from Natural 85, whom I love, and I saw her use this knee high and I thought that girl is a genius. So I went ahead and got some and I decided to start using it and doing it this way and I'm telling you it's easy and it's pretty ingenious. So what you want to do is with one hand you want to hold the top opening of the knee high and then work your way down, all right? Because if you don't hold that top, the seeds are going to come up and it can get into your gel and you don't want any seeds in your gel because they will go rancid and mold and just mess up your whole 
your whole um, product, okay? It's gonna get a little trickier once all the seeds get into the knee high, but it's okay, just take your time. And it's squishy and it's messy and sloppy and that's okay with me. It's, it's so much fun to make this. Um, but another reward in making this is that your hands feel amazing. It's all the fatty acids um, in the gel just feels, your hands just feel, it's like a beauty treatment for your hands. So that's a perk, okay? So you all, you can use whatever you like. Um, you can use essential oils. You don't even, even have to do the lavender flowers, but I like to do the lavender flowers because it's an inexpensive way to infuse lavender into my gel. And I can use my uh, lavender essential oils for something else, okay? Um, and it's also good for people who are just trying this out. You know, if you're trying this out and you're not quite sure on how to use essential oils, this is a great safe way, you know, to try, you know, things out. So you can use lavender, you can use chamomile, you can mix the two, it's all up to you. Just follow the recipe, just use one tablespoon and it should be good to go. Now you wanna go ahead and um, pour this into a container. I love glass, you can use plastic, just make sure it's BPA free. And mine will keep in the fridge for three weeks and I use it for washing those, twist outs, bantu knots, you name it. And it is a wonderful gel. Okay, you all, that wraps up my video and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm still building you all, so all the love is accepted and appreciated. Don't forget to tell somebody. And if you would like to see more videos, more DIY videos, just leave me a comment below and I will do so. So until next time, love yourself, love somebody, and guess what? I love you. Bye.